Imagine diving back into a world you once knew, only to discover its hidden depths years later. Today, we're not just revisiting any game. We're stepping back into a classic that has aged intriguingly in the vault of digital history. In a world where nostalgia meets modern appreciation, classic games like Fine Wine only get better with time. Join me as we re-explore a title that continues to spark debates and admiration alike. Assassin's Creed has always been more than just a game. It's a phenomenon that redefined action-adventure gaming and brought historical playgrounds to our fingertips. But not all its chapters were equally celebrated. Assassin's Creed Unity, a game released almost a decade ago, faced its fair share of criticism and technical glitches, overshadowing its ambitious vision. Its launch became a controversial chapter in gaming history, marring the series' otherwise stellar reputation. But what happens when we revisit Assassin's Creed Unity today, years after its tumultuous release? Armed with patches and the perspective of time, can we uncover a hidden gem in what was once considered a flawed creation? I dove back into the heart of revolutionary Paris to find out, and what I discovered might just change the narrative around this infamous entry in the Assassin's Creed saga. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Ubisoft, once celebrated for its innovative titles and memorable gaming experiences, found itself mired in controversy. Allegations of misconduct, questions over their work culture, and a series of questionable business decisions left many gamers, including myself, skeptical. The company that brought us cherished memories seemed overshadowed by a growing disillusionment with their practices. This backdrop of skepticism was my reality as I pondered revisiting their world, a world that had once been synonymous with gaming excellence, but now prompted a pause, a moment of hesitation due to the echoes of its less commendable actions. In this landscape of mixed emotions, my gaming journey took an unexpected turn. After immersing myself in the enchanting world of Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, a title that rekindled my love for Ubisoft's craftsmanship, a question lingered. Could I reconcile my admiration for their creative genius with my reservations about their corporate ethos? The answer came in the form of Ubisoft Plus, a service that promised a treasure trove of gaming experiences, including the enigmatic Assassin's Creed Unity. It was an opportunity to dive back into a universe I had once adored without the commitment of a full purchase, a way to navigate my conflicted feelings by directly engaging with the art itself. Upon revisiting Assassin's Creed Unity, I was immediately struck by the sheer beauty and ambition encapsulated within its virtual Paris. The game's presentation, once marred by notorious launch issues, now stood before me transformed, its graphics refined and seemingly reborn through countless updates and patches. The textures, the lighting, the meticulously detailed architecture all combined to create a vivid, immersive world that felt palpably real. The Animus, our gateway to this historical tapestry, had been revamped, offering a more intuitive and immersive interface that bridged past and present guiding me seamlessly into the heart of the French Revolution. This wasn't just a game, it was a time machine, crafted with an attention to detail that was nothing short of breathtaking. As I navigated through the bustling streets of Paris, I found myself lost in its chaos and charm. The city was alive, every corner a testament to the developer's dedication to authenticity and atmospheric design. The NPCs were astonishingly lifelike, each face telling its own story, their improved animations conveying emotions with a subtlety and depth that was previously unseen at the game's initial release. The way light danced across the cobblestone streets, the murmur of the crowd, the distant clatter of carriages, it all coalesced into an experience that was as overwhelming as it was beautiful. The facial animations, once a point of criticism, now mesmerized me with their realism, enhancing the narrative and breathing life into the characters' stories, making my return to this game not just a revisit, but a rediscovery of its hidden marvels. Venturing deeper into the heart of revolutionary Paris, I was continually awed by the environmental storytelling that Ubisoft had mastered. Each district, from the aristocratic opulence of Versailles to the grimy, pulsating heart of the Marais, was rendered with an obsessive dedication to historical detail. The NPCs added to this tapestry, their behaviors and reactions painting a vivid picture of a city on the brink of upheaval. Crowds gathered, protests erupted, and the tension of the revolution was palpable, creating an immersive backdrop that felt more like a living, breathing world than mere programming code. This Paris was a character in its own right, complex and beautifully rendered, a fitting stage for the drama of Assassin's Creed Unity to unfold. 
Reflecting on the technical prowess, it's clear that the game's performance has evolved significantly since its launch. Running on modern hardware, Assassin's Creed Unity now delivers a smooth, visually stunning experience that was once thought impossible thanks to the tireless efforts of patches and community feedback. The once infamous glitches and frame rate issues have largely been smoothed over, allowing the true potential of the game's engine to shine through. On contemporary systems, Paris comes to life in breathtaking detail, from the intricate facade of Notre Dame to the sprawling expanse of the Seine, all rendered in stunning clarity. The game's ambitious scale and visual fidelity, pushing the boundaries of what we can expect from historical open-world games, is a testament to the technological advancements that have occurred since its original release. The Parker system in Assassin's Creed Unity is not just a feature. It's the soul of the game, offering an unparalleled freedom that epitomizes the spirit of the series. As I revisited the streets and rooftops of Paris, I was reminded of the sheer brilliance of Unity's Parker mechanics, arguably the most fluid and refined in the entire franchise. The way Arno effortlessly scales buildings, leaps across rooftops, and navigates the urban jungle of revolutionary Paris is a high point of the series. The developers mastered a perfect balance, enhancing the realism and fluidity of movement, making each leap and climb feel natural and responsive. This intricate dance across the Parisian skyline offers a liberating sense of agility and grace, setting a benchmark for what Parker in a video game can be. Immersing myself once again in Unity's world, the joy of navigating Paris was reignited within me. Each session was a rediscovery of the thrill that comes from executing a flawless run across the city's diverse architecture. The tactile responsiveness of the controls, coupled with the game's visual poetry and motion, created moments of pure gaming bliss. Whether it was a daring escape from pursuing guards or a serene, uninterrupted traversal across the city's breathtaking vistas, the Parker system made these experiences memorable. It was like revisiting an old friend, but realizing they've grown. They've evolved into something even more remarkable, transforming my journey through the game into an exhilarating adventure that constantly invited exploration and experimentation. Years after its tumultuous release, Assassin's Creed Unity stands as a testament to the potential of post-launch redemption. The patches and updates have transformed it into a title that not only functions as intended but excels, showcasing Ubisoft's commitment to rectifying its past missteps. The game now represents a unique chapter in the Assassin's Creed anthology, one that, despite its initial shortcomings, has aged with a grace afforded by tireless improvements. Its current standing is a reminder that the journey of a game doesn't end at launch. It evolves, growing with the community and the developer's dedication to its refinement. Unity's place in the Assassin's Creed saga is as complex as it is profound. Revisiting the game, I was struck by how it bridges the historical depth and narrative ambition that defines the series, while also pushing the boundaries of its mechanical foundations. It serves as a pivotal point, reminding us of the series' highs and lows, its innovations and its stumbles. Reflecting on Unity's journey from infamy to respect underscores the series' enduring legacy, its ability to adapt, evolve, and continue captivating players with its historical tapestries and rich, immersive gameplay. Revisiting Assassin's Creed Unity was more than just a trip down memory lane. It was a reawakening to the game's hidden depths, a testament to its undying allure. This journey challenged my perceptions, turning what I once viewed as a flawed gem into a beacon of gaming's potential for growth and redemption. The experience was a powerful reminder that games like stories can evolve and surprise us, revealing new layers of artistry long after their initial unveiling. As we reflect on the importance of giving games a second chance, let's embrace the surprises they can hold when revisited with fresh eyes and updated contexts. If this journey back to revolutionary Paris has resonated with you, if you found joy or insight in reevaluating Unity's legacy alongside me, then I invite you to join our community. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share your own experiences of rediscovery in the world of gaming. Together, let's continue to explore the evolving landscapes of our favorite virtual worlds.